My name's Hugh. I'm a commoner of Ashstone Forest. Strange to look upon the pale and see it in such a dreadful condition. How do you keep your deer in the forest? In my time, I've worked on the pale, repairing it, digging out the ditches, building up the banks, mending the fence on the top and building new lengths. 23 miles long it used to be, the pale, with gates to let the herds of animals through, wheeled vehicles and people on horseback. People on foot used to come through the hatches. I can still recognise some of the old gate and hatch names. I'm surprised they're open. Anyone can come onto the forest. In my day, access was restricted. The king's deer were there. And heaven help any poor soul who took more from the forest than he was rightly entitled to. As a commoner of the forest, I was allowed to graze as much stock as I could winter in my own holdings. In the autumn, the forest was a feast for hog. It was wonderful for beech mast and acorn. I say that forest grazed hog was the best tasting for many a mile. We had to pay for it, mind you. If anyone put 10 pigs to pannage, they had to give their third best hog to the crown. I hope they choke on it. From the forest, I was allowed to take long heather for thatching. I was also allowed to take my air stovers. That's my allowance of wood, windfall wood, brushwood, furs and broom for fuel. But only my allowance, mind you. The forest sergeant has eyes everywhere and you never know when you may be stopped at the hatch. Us commoners are always arguing with the forest sergeant. All he wants is to keep the forest as good hunting for the king. That means large expanses of clear land with plenty of cover for the game. He wants us to graze as this keeps the open ground free from tree saplings. But on the other hand, he doesn't want us to graze too much as there won't be enough cover for the game. The only trouble is, he's too much, he's not the same as ours. We have families to feed over the winter and you can't do that on a thin beast. Oh yes, the forest is excellent for hunting, but it's not too good for scratching a living from. Oh well, maybe uh, when there's a large hunt I can earn a coin or two beating. That's bashing the undergrowth to fright out the deer so the nobles can get their sport. Even the king himself hunts here, staying at a lodge of vetchery in the woods near Nutley. Yes, a, a royal hunting forest indeed. <laughs>